Hello, I'm Professor Rob Middleton at Bournemouth University. Uh, the Orthopaedic Research Institute at Bournemouth University has been working with the Royal Bournemouth Hospital and Poole Hospitals to support patients with osteoarthritis during the coronavirus crisis. We've produced a series of seven videos that explain about osteoarthritis and the simple things you can do at home to relieve your symptoms. I hope you enjoy these videos. Now I'm going to talk about pain relief. There are different ways in which we can uh, receive pain relief. We can take uh, tablets orally, we can take non-steroidal anti-inflammatories which are also tablets mainly, um, and we can also have uh, or use topical treatments such as the, those which are on the skin. Paracetamol, which is an over-the-counter medication, uh, examples are Panadol or Anadin, um, the method of how this medication or paracetamol works is relatively unknown but we believe that it reduces the production of prostaglandins and therefore it reduces the sensitivity of pain. NICE guidelines recommend paracetamol ahead of oral non-steroidal anti-inflammatories um, because its risk profile is very, very low. We can also use uh, what's described as topical analgesia so that's pain relief that we use by rubbing uh, these um, uh, products on our skin. Examples include Nurofen gel, I believe, and Voltarol. Um, some of the research suggests that there are some short-term benefits for it. Um, uh, however, long-term, we're, we're not sure. Um, but it does reduce the risk of getting stomach upsets, and they're safer to take than non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. So, NICE guidelines do suggest considering a topical anti-inflammatory or paracetamol in front of or as a preference to taking oral anti-inflammatories or opiates. Other products include capsaicin which again can be applied onto the skin. Um, we believe this works by interfering with substance P which is a chemical involved in transmitting pain impulses throughout the nervous system. Typically this takes one or two weeks for pain relief to occur and NICE guidelines recommend considering capsaicin for the treatment of osteoarthritis. Moving on to non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, examples are aspirin, ibuprofen, uh, which are over the counter, but you can get naproxen, which is a prescription only medication. Um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories work by reducing inflammation by inhibiting certain enzymes, COX-1 and COX-2 inhibitors. Um, they uh, are effective at reducing inflammation but they might cause stomach upsets and in the long term problems with the heart. You can be prescribed a proton pump inhibitor such as omeprazole or lanzoprazole which then counteracts the effect that it can have on the stomach. When we consider pain relief, we do consider pain relief across an, what's described as an analgesic ladder. At the lowest part and the safest is paracetamol but then if we need something slightly more uh, for uh, moderate or severe pain, we do consider opiates. Examples of opiates include codeine, dihydrocodeine, tramadol, um, and they act directly on the nervous system and can be used in conjunction, as also paracetamol, can be used in conjunction with non steroidal anti inflammatories. It's important that if you find a medication that it has an opiate base, such as cocodamol, that also has paracetamol in it. So I would not recommend taking paracetamol with cocodamol. One of the risk factors uh, that surrounds opiates is it uh, can cause uh, constipation, nausea, itchiness, drowsiness, confusion. It can, uh, uh, it's not recommended to take in the long term. Uh, and we can become uh, used to taking these types of medication and the effectiveness of it does reduce. Other methods of uh, pain relief include rubifacients, which include deep heat, uh, radiant B, and they're uh, available as a gel or cream. These uh, products warm up the skin and um, can be available via prescription or over the counter. Uh, NICE guidelines don't, do not recommend the use of this for treating uh, osteoarthritis, but we find anecdotal evidence that it does help a select group of people, um, but we just don't know who those group of people are.